Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. I'm filming something a little bit different today, hence the random setup. I realise I'm probably quite far away from the camera, um, but I wanted you guys to be able to see my whole body because I am filming a video with my friend Lara today. This is actually her idea. I'll link her channel below in case you guys don't follow her. She does a whole variety of things, including um, fashion, hacks, parenting, travel, there's loads of stuff on her channel and she's just so lovely. I'm going to link her channel down below, she's also going to be filming this video too, so make sure you go and check hers out uh, when you finish watching mine. So today Lara and I are going to be filming our school run outfit ideas and I've actually just come back from dropping my son Grayson off at school this morning. So I thought what better time to start than when I'm actually wearing one of the outfits that I normally wear. Now we tend to walk to school, Bath where we live is very hilly, um, so I like to be very comfortable, especially for the walk back home because it is all uphill and I'm pushing a buggy. Um, so it needs to be something that I can kind of strip off a layer if I need to. Footwear is very important, needs to be comfortable. I'm not going for like the glamorous school run look um, because I just need to be comfortable basically. Also sometimes I cycle him down or I cycle to pick him up so they all need to be like fairly practical outfits. Um, I would love for them to be a bit more glamorous but they just need to be practical. First up I'll talk you through the outfit that I'm wearing now. Um, the jeans that I've got are the black skinny Lee jeans from Topshop and these are really old, these are like pre-pregnancy jeans, um, I've had them for about four years, I always buy the same ones just because I like the fit of them and I like the feel of them, they're really soft but they've got quite a lot of stretch to them um, and they're not too thick, I don't like it when jeans are too thick, especially if I'm walking in them so or cycling in them, so um, yeah these are the Lee jeans. I've got my old faithful Nikes which are going to be featured heavily in this video because they are generally what I tend to wear for the school run um, just because of the walking and cycling. These are actually the ones that I wear to the gym too, they are very well loved and they smell. <laughs> um, I need to get some new ones but they're just so comfortable, you know when you wear a pair of shoes in and they're just so comfortable I just don't want to take them off. Um, leather jacket uh, because it's kind of that weather in England at the moment where it's still really warm but I'm like waiting for it to be autumn so I can dress more autumnal. So um, leather jacket and then I've just got this spotty t-shirt, it's like a short sleeve t-shirt for when I need to strip off a layer when I'm walking up that hill. Um, this is from Whistles, my jacket is uh, from All Saints, it was a Christmas present a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it, I just feel like you can't go off a black leather jacket. So that is outfit number one and I'm going to quickly get changed. This is outfit number two, very similar, I'm sticking with the black skinny jean which to be honest is normally what I tend to stay in for most of the week. Um, I've got my camel coat, this is an old Topshop one, it's a bit bobbly, it needs replacing. I feel like it's one of those classic pieces for autumn that every year I like to whip out my camel coat. It's quite a lightweight coat so it's perfect for autumn. Uh, stripy tee which is pretty much mum uniform. I've also got black ankle boots on, they are, <laughs> I feel like I'm like really awkwardly sticking out my legs so you can see my feet. Um, but yes, I got black angle boots on, they're suede, they are from Very, another classic piece I think and I tend to only really wear ankle boots to the school run if I'm going to be staying in town or going for coffee with a friend um, and not walking too far um, because I just find that trainers are more comfortable than boots to walk in. Um, so that is outfit number two. Okay, so this is outfit number three, I think this is probably my favourite um, at the moment. Lara and I were actually both saying how if you put a pair of leather trousers on it kind of instantly makes your outfit look really put together without having to try and it makes you look like you've got your shit together and that you've like had an organised morning when really you probably haven't. So they're quite a good piece to have in the wardrobe to sort of like instantly make an outfit look a little bit more put together. So my leather trousers are V from Very, I believe they're actually ple pleather. Um, but I really like wearing them, they're also very practical for childcare because you can just wipe them clean. So anything that comes your way, like food or snot or wee or anything, just baby wipe it and you're done. My old faithful Nikes back on, I told you they were going to feature a lot in this outfit video. Um, and I've also got a baggy grey jumper, I feel like my whole wardrobe is full of baggy grey jumpers, I just love them, I feel really comfortable in them. 
I feel like that's just kind of been my style for so long now. Um, this one is from All Saints. Every year I kind of treat myself to a couple of more expensive pieces from the high street that I know I'm not going to go off um, that will last for a good few years. Um, I've got clothes from All Saints that I bought 10 years ago that I'm still wearing, um, so I feel like they're a good investment if you know that you're not going to go off a certain style. Um, so this one is actually, I've tucked it in, but it's quite long and drapey, um, but it's very cosy, so it's, yeah, really comfy, which is what we're going for. Outfit number four, and I'm back in my black skinny jeans, the good old faithful black skinny jeans. I've just paired them with this really lightweight black knit, and it's got like a little bit of lace detail on it. I like this because it's kind of not too flouncy, it's still really plain and understated, but it's got that little bit of detail which just dresses it up a little bit. It's also nice and lightweight for the walk back up the hill. I've paired it with my Vans, my leopard print Vans, ta-da! <laughs> um, these are really comfortable. When I first wore them, they were not. They made my feet bleed, but I loved them so much that I just had to wear them in. They are kind of a nice way of adding the leopard print trend into your outfit. Because I tend to wear a lot of black and I don't really like committing to trends, I kind of tend to stay with like classic pieces, so the vans are just kind of like add a bit of fun to the outfit, spice it up a little bit, and they are also very comfortable. So that is outfit number four. Okay, and my last outfit, I couldn't do this video without including a gym outfit because probably three times out of five mornings, I end up just wearing this because I try to go to a workout class after I've dropped Grayson off at school. Um, and even if I don't end up going to it, then it's just like a really cool, comfy outfit to walk or cycle in. So the vest is just a normal race back vest from H&M. Um, my sports bra, you can't see it because it's kind of covered up, it's got like a racer back. Um, but sports bra is from Sweaty Betty and it's one of the best bras I've ever had. It was expensive, but it was totally worth it, and it's actually the comfiest bra I own, and I like to wear it even when I'm not going to the gym. But it's handy for cycling as well. Uh, leggings are also sweaty betty. These were a hand-me-down from my friend, um, but they're super comfy um, and really breathable, so it's uh, good if you're kind of power walking or cycling. And then I just got this grey hoodie, which was from the men's section. <laughs> Um, and then my trusty Nikes. So those are my five school run outfits. Sorry they were a bit boring and practical. I think Lara's are probably gonna be a lot more fun and like on trend. I'm gonna leave a link to her video in the description box below. So make sure you go and check it out and subscribe to her channel. Uh, she's so lovely and her content's really, really amazing. So make sure you go and check her out now. Um, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Oh, do let me know if you like this kind of thing as well. Um, I've never really done anything like this before just because I feel kind of awkward just like stood here like showing you what I'm wearing. I can't pose like all the other normal bloggers and vloggers. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.